Today we close out 1 Timothy, so we'll look at chapters 5 and 6. And Paul talks about widows, he talks about elders, he, he talks about how to treat people who are in this category in life. And listen to verse 1 of chapter 5, he says, Don't rebuke an older man, but exhort him as a father. Then he says, Younger men as a brother, and older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with all purity. He just gives some very simple directives on how to treat people within the family of God, the body of Christ. And he uses those analogies. Older man, treat him with respect like you would your father. A elderly woman, a widow especially, like you would your own mother. A, a, a younger man, like a brother and a younger woman, well, like a sister in the Lord and do it in purity. He goes on and he talks about raising up leaders and how you don't lay hands on people suddenly, that you be cautious and some of the distinctives that need to be seen and those who are going to rule or serve in the church. So Paul is giving, as he's closing out 1 Timothy, some real directives about how to treat, well, basically people within the family of God. And he calls them brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, and elders, be careful, be cautious, don't lay hands on anyone suddenly. And then in chapter 6, he deals with all kinds of things that have to do with walking out your faith. And he talks about finances. He talks about those who are wealthy. In, in fact, li listen to what he says here. He says, C command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, not to trust in uncertain riches, but trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. He doesn't say having money is a sin or a problem, but it can make people haughty. It can make people trust in things that are uncertain. He's basically calling riches uncertain. He says, let them do good, that they be rich also in good works, ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. So he deals with all kinds of issues in chapter five and six, even rich people. It doesn't say it's wrong to have money. In fact, all through the Bible you see wealthy people, but he says, don't trust in it. It's uncertain and be generous with it and don't allow yourself to become haughty because of it. So Paul in chapters five and six, as he closes out this first letter to Timothy, deals with the family of God the elderly, the younger, the brothers, the sisters, even the rich, and give some great perspective on how to walk it out together.